The Nintendo 64, one of Nintendo's greatest consoles of all time, if not the greatest console of all time, in my opinion. However, this console is notorious for one thing, cartridges. Although cartridges were a good idea, because you didn't have to worry about your discs being scratched like the PlayStation kids back in the 90s, we did have to worry about one thing. Us Nintendo 64 players. Well, the 90s kids did, but not me, but... It's blowing into the cartridge just to get it to work. And the labels, yes. We've all worried about that, haven't we, guys? So today I'm going to be teaching you how to touch up your cartridge and fix up those labels. Also to make it work, I guess. If it doesn't work, then... Um, I don't know what to do. You should probably open up the cartridge. But let's get to it. Alright, so first you're going to need some Q-tips, alright? And some isopropyl alcohol. So, get a couple Q-tips, maybe one or two, preferably, I guess. Depending on how dirty your cartridge is, to be exact. So, you get your Q-tip, right? Dip it into that isopropyl alcohol. And first you want to go for the outsides first. Just to give the outsides a little bit of a cleaner touch. So, you got a bit of Sharpie on there as to what it looks like, I guess, or some mark. Yeah, it's probably a Sharpie. But it was from, like, who knows, how long ago, probably, like, 20 years ago when this game first came out. Whenever these kids bought it, maybe Christmas or their birthdays. Actually, when I first got this cartridge, I tested it out to see which profiles were in this game. And, surprisingly, the guy who sold this, the vendor at the swap meeting went to, in Frankenstein's, it just completely blew my mind because I found all these like save files on it, but I actually deleted the save files sadly because I wanted to start my own adventure. There was one more slot left, although I wanted to delete them all just because this was now my game of or copy of Shadows of the Empire. I mean, so can't really get in trouble for that because it's not their copy anymore. Obviously the people who previously owned this and sold it to the vendor, presumably, from what I'm assuming, they forgot to erase their save data. Probably because their N64 broke or they never had the time to or they just sold it like that because it got lazy. Who knows? But the vendor sold me this game for about $15. Not too bad. Although it's in like the worst condition I've seen a cartridge in in my days um I'm gonna touch that up right now so basically what I'm doing with this q-tip and the isopropyl alcohol is just um cleaning out like the outsides right getting all the dust and dirt and debris off right that's what you want to do just go for the corners too you can even try to peel off your labels too and replace them although I don't have like a re replacement label of me and handy you could also just like print out your own label online you just want to make sure it's like the right size I don't know what the right size is for labels but you could just compare it to your cartridge label that you have like currently on right now but if it's like torn like cut in half or something then I think the size is like 526 I don't remember but I'll link a video into which a guy explains how to fix your cartridges that might also help too but but what you want to do to like clean the outsides mainly is to get some alcohol and just like rub it with a q-tip on the outsides of the cartridge just like anywhere pretty much wherever the cartridge looks the most dirty just put a lot of alcohol in it maybe get some goo gone too and maybe look for some other things you might in your house I don't know what else you guys have in your house but goo gone actually helps with like removing like all this like adhesive and stickiness on your cartridge if you have any of that. And labels too. Gugon helps with that. And so for the innards right here. Just get the alcohol. Rub it to the connector. You want to press down but not too hard. And then get your Q-tip. The dry part. Clean it out. Don't go too hard on this thing because you don't want to damage it. But you do want to dry it up though, so that way the game actually works. 
and like you know not to like blow into the cartridge but if you must blow into the cartridge then do it yeah so I actually bought this Shadows of the Empire copy for $15 like I said earlier so far from this cleaning it looks like it's getting in a bit of better condition I definitely do appreciate the fact that these guys actually did clean out the cartridge a little bit and tested it out. I'm just cleaning it a little bit more to see if there's any like dirt and whatnot I can remove from the insides too. Oh crap. Yeah, you might want to make sure, like, not to go too hard on the the connector here. Oops, I accidentally touched it, my bad. Because then you could accidentally get some cotton from the Q-tip inside, so you don't want to do that. If not, then just get into the Q-tip, like what I just do. I already used, like, four or five Q-tips just to clean this thing so far, maybe even six. I don't remember, it lost count. But so far, the cartridge actually looks way better than when I bought it. Shoot. Um, but yeah, just clean out your cartridge with some isopropyl alcohol and some Q-tips. Pretty easy, you guys. If you don't have it laying around, you could probably just find it like at the pharmacy or something like that. Or just like at any store, like retail stores like Target or Walmart or whatnot. I don't know where you usually find this stuff and like what aisle, but I think it's like usually in the, um, usually in like the medical aisle, so maybe you could go to your local pharmacies too and you should find this stuff, but the one I'm using is 50% isopropyl alcohol, you could just like get whatever you want I guess, I really don't know, but I think it just matters if it's isopropyl alcohol only, I'm not sure about that, but you can also look up other tutorials online. But like I said earlier, um, get some goo gone also, clean out the cartridge. And if you want to better clean out your cartridge, you can also get a, um, one of these things called a one-off card. You can buy one online. I'll link a description below on my channel for that. Um, so yeah. I'll leave a link to a couple products that might help you guys with cleaning out your cartridges and game bit screws because I'm going to buy one of those pretty soon. But yeah. Good luck with cleaning out your cartridges. I hope your games work, guys. And I hope this tutorial has helped. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. And um, yeah. What's more important, though, is that I help you guys out and that the whole outcome is that. Your games work and they're just like perfectly good condition but you could probably just order some replacement labels online from like certain websites and whatnot and maybe even ebay but yeah hope this video has helped um see you guys later this is water king one signing out